Metropolitan planning organizations such as MTC are creating sustainable community strategies in order to address climate change. And one of the programs that we have in specific here in the Bay Area is a $400 million grants program where we've awarded grants for uh, counties and, and regions that work together to try to reduce uh, greenhouse gases. One of those programs is the Cold in Place Paving Program, which the County of Sonoma and the City of Napa have worked so hard on, and that is doing a great job in terms of reducing greenhouse gas emissions in Sonoma and Napa County. The Climate Initiatives Program that MTC has put together um, is truly unique. They asked agencies to think outside the box on how we could reduce air emission in the Bay Area. And so we thought, this is truly outside the box. This is not a normal kind of air reduction program. This is something we already do. Can we do it in a way that's better for the environment? I think what we're really dealing with in Northern California, in the Bay Area, where uh, this program is currently taking place, is that um, we, uh, as public works officials, have been involved in the industry for so many years that we tend to want to use the same types of techniques and products that we've always used that were successful. And so what we're seeing is that there really isn't a lot of awareness of all the new products and techniques that are out there. So what the Climate Initiatives Program is trying to do is to make sure that our local government officials are aware of all the new things that are out there and that we also develop enough of an infrastructure for our contractors who are our team members in road maintenance. Well, in 2006, California state legislators uh, signed uh, Assembly Bill 32, which is known as the Global Warming Solutions Act of 2006. The intent of the law was to actually roll back uh, carbon emissions back to the 1990 levels by the year 2020. Here in Sonoma County, we have a more ambitious goal, and that is to actually reduce uh, the emissions 25% below those 1990 levels by the year 2015. Here in the Nine County Bay Area, under the requirements of a state statute, SB 375, uh, we are developing a sustainable communities strategy. Um, MTC's part in this, the Regional Transportation Plan, is called uh, Plan Bay Area. And what we are going to be working towards is a goal of reducing greenhouse gas emissions by 2035 by 15 percent. Now, in the Nine County Bay Area, 40 percent of these greenhouse gas emissions are as a result of transportation activities. Well, the, the transportation sector is a major contributor to greenhouse gases nationally. Here in Sonoma County, even more so, 62 percent of our overall emissions is from the transportation sector. And really, as uh, transportation officials, the only way we, we can really reduce our emissions is really to look at the existing energy requirements today. And it's really the reduction of those energy requirements, the reduction of energy generation is where we can get the real uh, reductions in greenhouse gas emissions. With the coal in place recycling, I think the biggest benefits that we can get out of it is not only we can reduce the carbon footprints uh, where we don't have to hole in virgin rocks from the quarry and bring it over here. Um, we can get it uh, the same materials right in the ground and those materials actually will be better than what we can get these days. The aggregates that are in our roadways today are of much higher quality than we're actually getting out of our quarries. The, a the asphalt itself in the roadway is much higher quality than, we're, than even five years ago or ten years ago. It's, it's some of the best asphalts we have. So if we can take uh, engineered emulsion and we can take that asphalt and, and liven it up and, and reactivate it and put it back down with those existing asphalts, we've now put back down some of the best pavements that we have in the state. Based on the, the pilot project we're working on right now, we're we're seeing a difference of about $125,000 a lane mile based on the unit costs that we received on our bid for this project. Projecting that over those 1,200 lane miles that we have available for CIR, that, that translates to about $150 million if we actually take advantage of all the roads that are currently in our system and apply this treatment to it. 
That $150 million is huge in our system, where we can now leverage that money to, to utilize on other projects within the county. Because it's such a high speed, high production system that eliminates trucking, you can actually reduce construction time, usually 30% compared to conventional methods. And if you could put a dollar amount on a reduction to public inconvenience, if you could get in and out of a project 30% quicker, that's a huge benefit. The public on, with this system, you can leave in the morning on a paved road and they come back from work on a brand new paved road. In terms of environmental benefit, the greenhouse gas savings of one mile of a CIR project compared to a conventional hot mix is equivalent of taking 11 cars off that road for an entire year. For every lane mile of cold in place uh, recycling that you use, it saves 130,000 pounds of greenhouse gas emissions. You can only imagine that with over 40,000 lane miles that we have throughout the Bay Area, that that's a significant amount of savings for our environment. It's projects like this that we need to pilot, we need to demonstrate that they actually work and it will also deliver on the cost savings and it will deliver on the greenhouse gas emission reductions. So you could say then that you would have a win-win-win situation with your constituents, with the people, uh, with the financial directors and then, as I said earlier on, uh, the thought will be that our children and children's children will benefit from this program. Being able to utilize everything that was in the road initially to add a little bit back and to make it a brand new road, there's nothing more sustainable about transportation than that. I think the interest is in not just creating a healthier environment for people who are living today, but for those of us who have children or nieces and nephews, you're creating a healthier and sustainable environment for our children and our grandchildren is very important to people right now. This is very important message for us to get out to everybody because we're talking about the future.